Hey there guys, welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. Today I got a whole box of just pickups I wanted to share with you guys, but also I wanted to talk about toy hunting in 2022. Let's get to it. So it seems like the past two years have been primarily for me online toy hunting. We didn't get to go out too often, although we did get to film a couple of toy fair videos, but what I really wanted to do with the channel is go out even more and explore further into the world of toy hunting, what toy hunting can be, and now it finally seems to be happening. Next week, I'll be heading out to the UK for my first ever toy hunting trip over there. We're gonna be hitting up a couple of really cool toy shops and the NEC Toy Fair on the 20th of March on Sunday. So I'm gonna be there all day with Empire Toys, my buddy who is gonna be hosting me over in the UK next week. And I think Andy's Toys and Models is gonna be there and Mr. Dan Plastic. So uh, enough cool people to go out, hang out with, and hopefully I'll get to do another one of those Eddie Goes Texas type of um, video playlists like we did last time. That's already two years ago since I've been over to Texas. This is the attack of the Polly Pocket Turtles. Yes, uh, these were the mini mutant play sets that Playmates put out, obviously. One of the hardest things with these is definitely trying to find them uh, still with all of the accessories or the little mini mutants, the, the little mini figures in there. So this was actually a reach out from Brian on Instagram. He had uh, a bunch of these and he was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to sell these. So would you be interested? And he does have some really cool sets in here. So this one is like the superhero little mini play set. Got the superhero turtle here. You got uh, Donatello, Batman styled, and the bad guy, Rhino. Um, just looking like, uh, like, like, like they're gonna break open the bank and steal it and you have to go and save them, obviously. And we have the Toka set in the back right there. This one is uh, just your regular, <laughs> I'm saying regular, just, you know, your, your type of regular turtle little mini set. So here we have a Leonardo in the sewer. Yeah, this one is pretty special. <laughs> this one is the Apollo mission turtle, so yeah. You know about the astronaut turtles, they actually also had a mini play set with them in there. So, oh man, this is just epic. You got like this little spaceship thing in there. Just, you know, I, I, I guess like Mighty Max must have really made a big impact for all of the toy companies to start doing it. You know, like Extreme Dinosaurs had some, uh, Toy Biz started doing it. Um, everything, I mean, they had, you know, like mini play sets at McDonald's and, and fast food restaurants. So, this was definitely like a, a big hit for the toy market when, when those mini Polly Pocket playsets started coming out. This is actually one I had as a kid. And uh, let's see if I can still open this guy up. This has more of a little of a, uh, this one has more of a medieval feel with, you know, like the castle. Got a little rock steady in here. But uh, overall, these are just super awesome. Oh man, Raphael. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for, you know, hooking me up with all these. Um, I've been holding off on a lot of them just because you can't find them, just because you can't find them uh, with most of the accessories, but some of the sets in here, I was just like, oh, when am I ever going to come across the superhero play set or the, the Apollo mission one, and uh, just because, well, I had this one as a kid. So, thanks so much. See garage sales in a whole different view. We actually went back to one of the garage sales we initially passed up because they didn't really show any potential. All they had was a mirror and some furniture. And when you look like this, you already own plenty of mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Attic Invaders. Guys are gonna get a lot of really cool content coming out in the next couple weeks. And of course, in April, at the end of April, I'm heading out to Chicago for the Chicago Kane Toy Fair, Kane County Toy Fair. 
um, something like that. I think it's happening on the 22nd and 23rd of April. I will be there together with Not Not Retro Channel, who has also a video premiering today. Definitely go and check it out. It's coming around. It's coming out right after Cincy's new video, so I'll be sure to go and check out that premiere because it's gonna be insane. Um, Who's gonna be over at the Chicago trip? Greco Fabulous. Yeah, we're getting the Attic Invaders back together once again. Boston Mike's gonna be there. Sprooge Game Hunt thing is gonna be there too. So uh, I'm super excited for this. Um, I've been plotting to go back to the US for a couple of years now, and it's finally happening. Um, but yeah, we won't just be going over to Chicago. We're also heading down uh, to Texas once again and just hitting up all sorts of shops. Just, you know, toy hunting road tripping and bringing along the camera so you guys can come along too um, so that's pretty much it what I got going on right now a UK trip and a USA trip and I still have a ton of pickups to show you guys so first up um, a lot of you have been asking about this hat right here this toxic crusaders hat it is actually from Big Herc BigHerc.com. That's 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 uh, where you need to be to get some of that cool trauma gear. And uh, he actually had a new hat made with the Toxic Avenger on there. So, I mean, this one looks pretty freaking cool as well. Got that Toxic Avenger uh, thing embroidered just like you got the Toxic Crusaders. So that's where the hat comes from because I get like 10 people on each video asking me, where do I get that hat? Um, yeah, so really awesome stuff. This guy pops together. You, you get like this trading card as well. And he threw in a couple things. He actually threw in the Noid. So Domino's Pizza. A, a little PVC Noid figure, so that's super awesome. Also, got a Hot Wheels turtle van and a Transformer blind baggy. Yeah, really awesome guy. Super into Toxic Crusaders and even signed this poster for me. So that's pretty epic. Thank you, thank you so much. Buddy. The next up, I got the first book of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle RPG by Palladium Books. So this is one of the first um, licensed properties that the Teenage Mutant Mirage, that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mirage comics um, actually licensed to, to have turned into, you know, games and such. So um, here is just the tabletop RPG, honestly, with all the rules and some of that really cool stuff. Um, I think the artwork is done by Peter Laird or Kevin Eastman inside over here, but um, it kind of like um, shows you um, how to play the game because I already had the expansions and look at the terror bears over here. Those are super awesome. Oh man, this is the TMNT origin. Yeah, just a really cool book uh, to own, so this one was definitely on my list to really want to get. You could just play it, you could just play that with um, your imagination, or you could get a couple of these guys over here. These are Dark Horse Miniatures, and uh, they're super awesome. Let me just set them up real quickly. Okay guys, and here's a little closer look to all the little miniatures I got. In the front row, we have the turtles. Now, um, this is quite an impressive uh, collection of these little uh, miniatures figures for the connoisseur, but uh, there's still a lot more to collect for. But um, I just saw this lot up on eBay and I, I knew I had to grab it just because of the amount of how many we're in there, you have the four turtles, obviously. So these are sculpts predating anything Playmates or Mattel would have done for the turtles. So they're pretty much just based on the, the comics and such. Um, over here we have a splinter right there and a shredder, a Casey Jones. Then we have some foot soldiers or is it uh, the, the dragon? the dragons um a triceraton and uh, a fugitoid right here and some mausers even so 
these are just gonna go up on the the really cool shelf for uh, turtles because this is a part of their history and uh, yeah I actually want to start playing that game or at least you know try playing it uh, just one time to, to really get a feel for it where, where was this gonna go if we didn't have you know the actual uh, toys made by playmates and every five or six year old went nuts over turtles in like the span of a year so yeah um, these are just super epic super um, detailed figures as well so it's it's just marked TMNT on the bottom over there uh, yeah they can break easily but um let's let's not break him <laughs> so this was a, a like a super cool pickup for me I think in the last video there weren't any boglins so let me just grab these out I got some baby boglins on card so the egg is in a blister on these and um, yeah these were put out by action action GT back in the day um, so I think these are actually um, European exclusive toys um, they weren't uh, released in the USA and I actually have quite some so I got Blab is the first one I showed you guys. Then over here we have Squid and Slang. Of course, we needed two more. We got Boink in the green right here and Splat. So cards are a little bit wavy, but uh, I'll try to you know bring them back into a really uh, representable um, fashion. So I'm not sure which one of these I had as a kid, but. Um, I, I, it, it was one of the green eggs for sure so it had to be boink or squid now I'm not sure which one I had back in the day I'm sure it was a greenish uh, egg that it, it came with but as you can see all of these are actually available in all the six colors you can see on the back here so there's 36 in total to, to collect for not sure if I'm ever gonna get all of those I remember getting this one from the toy store down the street um, it was out um, you know, it, it, it was it was out in the entrance by the discounted toys one summer, and I remember seeing this and being like, "Oh, what's gonna be in this egg? This is this is gonna be like such a cool thing." So I definitely remember um, gravitating towards this type of toy and being like, "Mom, can, can I have this?" And I eventually got it, and I think I lost it within like two weeks the finger puppet that's inside um, so yeah but these are the baby boglins hopefully on my trip over to the UK I will be able to do some more international toy hunting um, obviously it's gonna be international toy hunting but what am I gonna be looking for I'm gonna be looking for those UK exclusives I know there's some GI Joe exclusives there's um, so much Palatoy stuff Palatoy put out the action force that put out some Star Wars exclusive sets and, and things like that so um, definitely gonna be on the lookout for that and I'm also working on a new toy history about international toys but you know if I'm gonna go over there I might as well just grab some footage from there and then work on it I'm working on a couple more videos uh, but they might be just a little bit longer so they take a lot more time to make but this was a really cool uh, find for me I found these online once again not like a flea market find or anything at the get them shipped all the way from Holland and I paid 35 a piece which is something I would probably pay for the loose ones with the egg so there you go guys then over here I got a new custom turtle that came in all the way from Sweden by custom self he does some really great stuff uh, on the back over here you can already see a couple of more things that he's created uh, he's, he's done the Ghostbuster one which I was just too late for um, this one is the turt 800 a cybernetic mutant terminator turtle and now we got the whip swimming turtle the whip swing turtle um, the energy the Indiana Jones style one so here we have the Donnie version and uh, it comes on this card that you can just open up pretty easily so like this it comes with three accessories and over here you can see him uh, I think I've shown him on a couple of live streams but I wasn't sure enough 
but I wasn't sure if I showed him on an actual uh, pickups video yet. So that's why he's in here. Um, no articulation on the legs anymore, but the arms still move around. Oh, this one is, is oh, so nicely um, painted. This looks so good. Um, I'm guessing like this is like one of those undercover turtle hats. <laughs> So maybe they took like the mold of one of those and, and popped this on or, or is it just the, the undercover Donnie? I'm not sure. Um, love how they popped that spider on there and you know just the bugs and everything. It comes with that little ninja golden idol to steal away from the Raiders of the Lost Ark movie. You get a pistol and a whip. Yeah, to whip around with. So yeah, that's that's... Oh man, I just love the customs. Uh, this one is gonna look so great on the shelf. Then next up I got some new stuff. Uh, NECA and Super 7 TMNT wise. Uh, there's too many turtle lines coming out honestly. I can't keep up so I just, you know, cherry pick whichever ones I think look really cool. Um, this is probably the first and the only NECA cartoon based turtle that I'm picking up uh, just, you know, pre or on a pre-order basis. But this is the uh, pizza monster from outer space or, um, yeah, the pizza monster. So he looks pretty cool, but um, honestly, the only reason I actually bought him is because of like the tiny dude. <laughs> I know that's like a stupid <laughs> thing to do. Uh, I actually do quite like um, the way they sculpted this one, but I think like the Ihimo one is just gonna be the one for me because I always love the vintage stuff way more. So, um, what I do like is the vintage style stuff and that's what Super 7 is really um, running with right now. They're putting out these highly articulated uh, TMNT Ultimates and this is kind of like a special edition. This is, was a Earth uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive. This was an entertainment earth exclusive and it's Mugen Man. It's one of my favorite top 10 characters and uh, just take a look at this. This is the glow in the dark Mugen Man. Doesn't that just look freaking epic? I think so. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna open this guy up, but I did open up Muckman. Here we have Joe Eyeball and Muckman. Awesome. Um, this was one of the sculpts that as a kid, I was just so into, and to finally see all of that little detail just popping out. You got the little teddy bear, the, the spiders, the flowers, the, the mushrooms. Oh man, this guy is just trash back tastic. Um, honestly, um, he has the weirdest um, articulation hiding spots as well. Um, some of it is, is a little bit clunky, but um, but over, overall, he, he still manages to stand up really well. Um, so I think uh, for this one, you can still use the slime for it. Uh, I know with Mugen Man, that was kind of an issue, but uh, it looks like, like this stuff would actually work or allow you to um, have some some uh, slime flowing through him. The artistry on, on, on the sculpt like this, with, you know, the skeleton sticking out. Um, he doesn't come with a lot of accessories and he is uh, a really large um, Ultimates figure though. But um, yeah, he has that gun, he has um, the backpack thing where you can pop Joe Eyeball in. And this little dude is even articulated so the the arms can move around, his head can move around, and uh, yeah, this used to just be uh, a one color, you know, sidekick, but now he got a little bit of articulation. You can pop him in the back like this, and uh, it look super cool. So, oh man, um, I wish I had like the other one, like the finished one, to just pop next to it. But uh, everything about this one is just super well done. Um, absolutely love this. So yeah, 
I'm not gonna open all the other ones up because there's you know way better toy channels that do way better um, toy reviews than I do. But uh, I do have some more toy stuff to show you. Now in some of the latest toy hunting videos I did, you've seen me pick up some um, Dungeons and Dragons LGN 1982 styled uh, toys and this is actually the Evil Nightmare Horse and the Good Guy Horse. What's cool about these is that they actually sculpted like the legs on the saddle. So they look kind of weird when they don't have the figure on them, but um, when they do, it probably it probably looks great. Now I was actually just actively searching for um, the action figures, but I couldn't find any. And then these all of a sudden popped up, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to go grab these. And uh, also in there uh, were a couple of these um, just random bits. Honestly, I guess uh, there was still a leg left behind as well so there's one leg in here <laughs> a sword and then a couple of shields which I would imagine are pretty tough to find when you actually have the figure so I was like let's just eliminate that I already have the shields now I can go and look for uh, the action figures that these go with and then try to complete them so this was a fun little um, find online once again and uh, that's why I got these also really heavy into black star lately and this is a Triton um, missing the horns but this is uh, a cool looking piece I mean um, he's got the, those big wings this is just a mammoth honestly um, He's obviously missing the saddle you put on him, so uh, your action figures can ride around on him. But this is, you know, it's bigger than Battle Cat. So <laughs> you can imagine with these wings, um, it will take up a lot of space in the toy room, but uh, it, it looks funny. It looks, it looks really cool, so that's why I needed to grab and Then over here is a playset that I recently picked up. This is the Secret Wars Tower of Doom. So here you actually have this little thing that can come off as a pod and you can fly around and shoot around with that. This is obviously from the Mattel Secret War series. Um, and uh, it's, it's got a couple of, of really cool features. Um, the back is pretty much like the best part of, of the whole thing honestly um, there was also one of these shields in there so uh, with a little Doctor Doom thing on there um, and uh, then over here you have this this thing that can fly around uh, there's an elevator there's this stuff right here to open up uh, when somebody gets trapped inside there, but um, obviously the playset doesn't really do any <laughs> anything uh, without some of the figures. So what I did, and this is actually a pickup that I I, I did months ago, um, but I actually got like some beaters, so some figures that you know uh, it was a lot, and I have none of these, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna grab this lot of uh, beater. Secret Wars figures and see from there where I can go in collecting for this toy line. Um, there were actually some super powers in there as well. So two lines I'm pretty much into right now. Um, this one at first I, I wasn't really familiar with it, but uh, it looked like a Spider-Man, but it's actually uh, Baron Zemo, I think. Um, so he looks cool and he is the only one that actually has an accessory with this little belt thing right here so um yeah he just looked like a pinkish um spider-man obviously spider-man is in here not in best shape a lot of it is already scratched down from the print that was on there but um yeah they just really tried sticking to the molds with this one just like with master of the universe they didn't really um release too many different um looking guys so over here we have magneto and dr doom over here on dr doom nothing is left of the the print that's supposed to be on here and here we have um, Dr. Octavius from the Spider-Man series and he has no um, no octopus arms anymore so <laughs> they've been 
taken away from him. But uh, yeah, overall, I got a couple figures to pop on here. I've already collected some more um, that I found over at um, Comic-Con and just some other toy figures. So I'm definitely going to be looking for more. This one, I don't know the name anymore, but uh, this guy was in there too. And I got some superpowers. Now, I honestly never see these uh, over here. So, over here. So we got Lex Luthor, we got the Green Lantern, and Aquaman. Obviously, some of the action still works. This guy has that action. Oh, yeah. He can show his ring to you. Yes. Awesome. And uh, lastly, one of the coolest ones in here has got to be Dark Side. He has that thing where, you know, he has the little dome on the top. And you can see his eyes glow up. Isn't that just epic? He came with his cape as well. And he still has that punch. Oh, yeah. So, guys, these were my pickups, honestly. Uh, let me know what I should be looking out for in the UK when I head over there. Um, if, you're, if you happen to be at the NEC, definitely come by and say hi. Let me know what you would be looking out for these days if you got to go out toy hunting in our countries. And um, what did you buy last week? There's going to be a ton of toy hunting content coming out real soon. Uh, once again, thanks to everybody on the Patreon. If you want to join the Patreon and get exclusive access to our Patreon Discord, you can always do that. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you like 80s and 90s toys and you like toy history and toy hunting videos, then this is probably one of the channels you could be looking at weekly. Um, thanks so much for tuning in to this one and I hope to see you in the next video. See you later guys. Bye.